25-40, Hurst, touchdown! Garrison Hurst, uh, Lincoln County, Georgia. Hometown of Lincoln was a very small class power. He was quicker than fast, but he also, having said that, had that extra step in the open field freakish athlete. I watched him power clean in the weight room 315 and he never moved his feet. He took it straight from the floor to his chest. And it looked like his calves were carved out of a guitar case. I saw Garrison Hurst go for 200 yards against Vanderbilt in 1992. I thought at the time he was the best to turn the corner back the SEC had. Everybody was looking for the next Herschel Walker and in 1991. Garrison Hurst came. 1992 was probably the best team of the Ray Goff era. If I remember those early 90 teams, and you had Garrison Hurst at running back, and you had Eric Zire at quarterback, you had outstanding wide receivers. He turned uh, Eric Zire loose because when he was had the ability to run the ball, that allowed Zire then to, to throw the ball as effectively as he did. And I just thought, oh, Garrison Hurst was just dynamite in the early 90s in terms of a guy who could really explode in a game and change the game with his speed and his explosiveness. The guy was just an explosive athlete. He went to the combine after he came out early his junior year at the University of Georgia and had an ACL tear and he played with and didn't have any idea he was that strong. He is as freakish a guy as I've ever been around. If you let him get to the edge, he would beat you with his speed and his explosiveness. Incredibly explosive running back, who I thought was a little underappreciated.